What's good guys, Max Rev here back with another video and these are the top 5 features in Sanajimod 12.1 Nightlies. Uh, before the video, I'd like to point out a huge sorry for delaying the 1 plus 1 giveaway result. And the 1 plus 1 giveaway result is Blastio. Congratulations Blastio. Hope you are feeling happy and satisfied. Uh, check your inbox for more details. Thank you and moving on. And moving on to the first feature which is in the settings menu, actually all of them are in the settings, which is known as live display. So if you go into the settings and then go to display and lights, there's a feature called live display. So here you can optimize the resolution and color of the screen to the condition where you are, like the lighting around you. So in display mode, there are five features, automatic, off, day, night and outdoor. And automatic it's an automatic and if you keep it off it disables all the features and if you keep it to night it gives a little uh, dull yellowish color to your text so and you can even change the color temperature so here's one thing you can play around with so if you decrease the night way down it gives a reddish color to all your white like white becomes red and you can even change it for the day and too much of it becomes too much white so let's reset it and leave it like that so we'll just keep it to automatic and you can even set it to outdoor mode and so here like outdoor bright sun it optimizes so that you can see in the bright sunlight so we'll set just set that automatic and then in advance there's an option called screen color where here it's in standard mode you can even set it to vivid mode or even this funky feature called custom so here you can change the hue you can change the saturation contrast and the intensity you can play very much with it so you can change the crazy colors of the fruits you can see red became blue and you can say it like this which is really crazy I'll just set it to standard and then there's a color calibration on how much green and blue you want let that all be in 100% and reduce power consumption and you can adjust the low power for without degradation so that's the first feature and the next feature is a pretty cool feature called color density so or LCD density as they call it so the same in display and lights if you go there there's an option called LCD density and where if you choose it there are so many DPI's like 320 DPI is starting up to 560 DPI uh, 480 D DPI is set as default so that is the exact uh, text ratio to the screen so let me show you one thing we will change it to 320 DPI we will take to boot so we will wait for it and as you can see here in 320 DPI the colors have become way small the text has become way small so as you can see oh, the icons are very small and it pretty much feels like an iPad because you know the icons are small and we go to app drawer here you can see it's crazy huge number of apps so here's what that's the power of DPI <laughs> so we we'll change it back to 420p or 480p so and moving on to the next feature it is the notifications or notification manager where here you can enable and disable the heads up notifications and you can even set to show the notifications when the device is locked and so you can show all notification or not show any notification and here you can even show app notifications so here like see like just now a message came and you can even change the notification for each and every app so i don't want notification from facebook or i want priority notifications just like that and there's even called notification access for the themes app and you don't have any other app now and you can even filter the notification for which all apps you want and which all apps you don't want and the next feature which I really like is the lock screen visualizer. So let me just play a song. And so when I play the song, and if you go to the lock screen and see, there's a visualizer for the song. So that's pretty cool when you're listening to music. 
and it's an awesome feature. So moving up. And the next feature is the ambient display which is in the display and lights menu. Similar to the Nexus 6 and Moto X. So what you can do is in the display and lights you can enable and disable ambient display. So it will display only the time or whatever notifications you have in a dim white color in the lock screen. Or without not even in the lock screen. Uh, here so let me just show you that. It works only sometimes. Okay then, moving on. And the next feature is the gestures. So the gestures are very cool gestures. So it's just like the OnePlus One or similar to the Moto X where you can draw a circle to activate the camera and you know the usual music control like two fingers to pause and play, left arrow, right arrow and V to toggle flashlight. Uh, in this new version of Cyanogen Mod, it's not frequently appearing like the OnePlus One with Cyanogen Mod 11S. So that's a good feature. And not, not like the Oxygen OS, you can double tap to wake and double tap to sleep. So that's pretty cool. Double tap to sleep was not there in the Oxygen OS, but thankfully it's there in the Cyanogen Mod 12.1. The next feature is actually a pretty small feature, which is the developer options. So go, to go to developer options, go to about phone and keep pressing the build number. You, I'm already a developer in developer settings. So you go to developer options and you can see there's a, an option called enable quick boot mode or advanced reboot. So in advanced reboot, what you can do is if you keep pressing the power button and click on reboot, it'll give you options for reboot, soft boot, re soft reboot, recovery and bootloader. So you can choose any of those. Or, and if you come down, there's another option for root access. So, after flashing Cyanogen Mod 12.1, I noticed that root was not enabled. So, in the developer option, it was disabled. So, you can disable and enable apps only, only ADB or both apps and ADB. So, that's an awesome thing to do. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment and go Tony Stark on the like button and as always, peace.